It is customary for brides to wear something borrowed when they tie the knot. First on News Channel 5 this morning, Hannah McDonald checked out a display at Oakland's mansion where the wedding dresses themselves are on loan. This is used for weddings and receptions. Normally, there is only one wedding dress in this room at Oakland's mansion. Wedding dresses through the decades is the exception. We have the 1920s um, wedding dress and going away. Mary Beth Nevels is in charge of carefully collecting gowns from the community to fill this hall for the wedding dress exhibit. This year, there are 60. Sometimes it's more about the story than the dress. And when you can put an old black and white photo with it um, and you are adding in their special memories, then um, sometimes it's not even about the dress. Like these couples love stories. While they dated uh, 1947 to 49, they were never living in the same hometown. And they wrote love letters back and forth to each other while they were dating. This bride's husband is from China and then her reception dress is the typical um, Chinese red. The sheer age of some dresses is amazing too. It's 1873. You can think about what was going on in the world or the region at that time. Were they a wartime bride? Oakland's mansion is a small museum, averaging 10 to 12,000 visitors a year. This exhibit has helped them get through eight off seasons. For the first time, Oakland's will display wedding ring quilts as well. The exhibit runs through March 1st. In Murfreesboro, I'm Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.